Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of My Summer Car. This is Justin Mashburn and today we're going to try to put together some more parts of this car. Uh, but we're also going to make a uh, run to the town. I did look up about that buzzing noise which I thought was a fly. It turns out it's probably a mosquito. I guess there's at least two kinds of bugs in this game. There's uh, mosquitoes and flies. The sauna gets the fly to leave you alone, but you do have to have bug spray for the mosquito, which is available in the town. So I don't want to do what I did last time where I went there too early and the store wasn't open. So before we head that way, we are going to try to put a few things in this car and see where that leaves us. First off, let's just have a look at where we're at. We do, we got the wheels on, the back wheels at least, we got the back wheels on last time. Get my tools out. And uh, it's a little lighter outside than when I was working on it yesterday. So let's see, we got that in, we got the radiator in, and I'm really at a loss for what else needs to go in next, so it's, it's we're back to tinkering, unfortunately. So let's see what we have here. Shock absorber, I don't know, maybe that can go on those rear wheels. Let's go check it out. If I just kind of get down next to it. Oh yeah, see I saw the little, right there, I saw a, oh just for a second. Just for a second I saw that check. Oh come on, where was that? No, yes, there. Oh, I'm really gonna hope, I'm sure that I have, I'm supposed to be bolting that on, but I, I can't see it because I've got this wheel on and that's not great. I kind of feel like I probably have to take that wheel off so that I need, so that I can get to that. Um, but instead of doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the other shock absorber and put it on the other side, then maybe I'll take the wheels off. But it's nice to know that the, that's where these go. That's progress, is what that is. I've already got my tools over here, so I can take this wheel off and... What is that? What does that say? Towing hook. Oh, well, now I know my car is a towing hook. Oh, there we go. Alright, unfortunately that does mean I'm going to have to take this tire off. So let's see if we can find out which... Which one of these tools is going to do it for me can't really remember. Was it the number three? Absolutely not. Number four. Still no. Number five. Six. Oh, I wish there was a better way to tell this sort of thing. Like, if you could just look at the nut and it would say, this is a six millimeter whatever. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try to remember this. The wheels are number seven. Alright, I'm probably going to fast forward through this part, because it's just me taking these nuts off. And uh, then I'll get back when, I'm, when I've got both wheels off. Oh, well that was exciting. Okay, so I took the wheel off and it, it did this. Jumped the car up onto the tire, but there, it looks like I can just take it off there. Alright, I'm just going to get this other side, probably going back into fast forward here. Okay, I've got both tires off. Is it getting darker? It is getting darker. Ah, I thought it was early morning, but no, it's apparently night. Oh, I gotta deal with this stupid mosquito for longer then. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll just keep doing this, I guess. Um, oh, but I can't see what I'm doing. So, let's turn our flashlight back on. Okay, let me see if we can even see where it... Okay, there's that shock absorber right there. But I don't really see where there's a... Where there's any sort of nut. Let's jack this part of the car up a little bit until we can see it. I love that giant crashing sound that it makes every time I even get too close to the car. That's really reassuring that I'm doing everything right. Watch this just flip over and me have no way of getting it back. All right, let's see if we can see anything. Okay, so there's one right there. Is there one on the other side? Yeah, impossible to see because I don't have the flashlight. Doesn't, oh, yes. I'm pretty sure there is one there. Uh, is there one up here? No, apparently there's not one at the top. Not one that I can see anyway. 
unless I can see it from this part. That, but that'll be something we can look at later. Alright, let's figure out... That looks like a really small um, bolt there. So we'll see if we can figure out which one of these will work for it. Ah, there we go, number two. Alright, I'm just going to screw this in. Hopefully there's only two, and hopefully it'll let me highlight that other one. I'm pretty sure I saw that there was another one. Maybe there is just that one, though. Let's get to the side and see. Yeah, there's definitely a second one, just highlighted there. Which is a little bit hard to finagle it in the dark. I'm going to have to move my flashlight over to the other side so I can see what I'm doing there. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, of course, I might have to grab the jack and bring it to this side, too, now that I think about it. Okay, drop that. Nope, that's not quite it. Right there. Alright, let's just... You know, I think now that I know just about where those things are... Oops. I can probably kind of just move around until it highlights them. Of course, I could be wrong about that. No, that ain't gonna work. Gonna have to bring that jack around. Let me turn on the light in the garage. If I can find the light switch. Nope, that's apparently not it. Ah, okay. Flashlight again. I wish this guy's fatigue would line up with a, any sort of day and night schedule. That would make this uh, really just fantastic if that they could do that. Just a little bit more. Um, or let me choose how long I sleep. That would be nice. That would be a nice change so that I could, you know, at least try to make this, make some sort of sense of his sleep schedule. That way I'm not always trying to work things out in the middle of the night. Okay, there, got the flashlight where I need it. Let's get back to this jack. Probably about to wreck this car when I drop it. Here we go. No, I think that went pretty well, right? Let's grab this thing. Get around all my stuff so I don't scatter it to the winds. Get over here and find a suitable place to put this. Probably just on this end of the wheel well. The wheel well here. And a little bit, a little bit further under. There we go. Raise that up a bit till I can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you saw it just drop when it released the pressure, and now I can see those bolts, I think. At least I don't cast like a really bad shadow on this. That would be so much worse if I step in front of that flashlight and all of a sudden can't see what I'm doing because I'm a shadow. Alright, I'm hoping that now that I've got that on, I don't know, maybe I should try a few different things before putting those wheels on just so that ugh, just so that I'm not putting something else so I don't have to remove the wheels again I mean first though I'm gonna go inside oh, everything's dark I turned off the lights there we go go inside and eat something because my hunger is getting pretty high there oh I've got a pizza probably should have cooked it right I don't know how to use the oven though just eat everything cold. And now my thirst is way up, so drink a few beers. I do wonder if there's things... I mean, obviously the store sold milk, but I wonder if there's other things aside from milk and beer that I can drink. Like, I've got running water in this house. Can I... I mean, that's a crazy idea, but can I just drink water? I don't know. Let's throw this beer bottle down the hallway. I do like that whenever he finishes with a bottle, he just throws it wherever he is. Okay, now this is going to be real fun now that I'm a little bit tipsy. You can already see the sway that he does when he's... <laughs> there it is. When he's a little bit drunk. But let's... Let's see. Uh, those... Okay, those obviously go in the front, because it's front, front right, front left. But, uh, steering rack, front right, front left. Okay, so not that either. Steering rack. Is there anything left that says rear? Front right, front left. Okay. What was that? Front right. 
I don't know what these, what exactly these half shafts are. So I'm just going to take one of these. It's one of the few things that doesn't have front in its description. And uh, wiggle it around and see if it fits back here. If not, we'll go ahead and put the tires back on. Is that a, do you think, do you hear that hooing sound? I don't know, it sounds, I don't know if it's a cuckoo clock or an actual owl. Um, hopefully it's an actual owl and not something I'm supposed to go and turn off. Alright, so as of, as so far, I can't, I can't put this on the front or in the back, so we're just going to drop this. Like I say, we'll put those tires back on. I'm going to drop the jack first. I don't think I need this up like that. And it's in, I'm glad that the tires aren't specific to where they have to go. You know, it's just wheel. It's not front left wheel or front right wheel or any of that. Just wheel. Where did I put that other one? Probably on the other side. Impossible to tell because it's so dang dark. Let's grab my flashlight, look for it for a second. Oh, right there. Okay. There we go. Oh, and now I lost it again. There. Okay. I don't recommend doing uh, automotive repair in the dark. I really think that that's probably a bad idea. So uh, don't don't follow this game's advice. I remember this. This was the number seven wrench. I'm gonna go into fast forward here and uh, just screw all these these things in. It's gonna be a little difficult on this side since I can't really see them. Okay, so I've got the wheels back on, and now it has the um, the shocks on behind him. I'm going to call that a win. And I'm going to see if I can just take this guy to bed right now, and maybe when I wake up it'll be lighter outside. Because this whole working in the dark thing is bumming me out. It's not fun at all. Oh, didn't know I had the light on in here. Great. Let's go to sleep. Same sequence as always. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And let's just hope it's morning now. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, I hear that I've still got my mosquito friend. Or is that the fly now? Who knows? Oh no, it's dark as hell outside. Well, actually, no, it's a little bit lighter than it was, maybe. It's maybe pre-dawn. Still, I don't think I can... Oh, I've got the fly and the mosquito. Okay, I can hear the difference now. Alright, well I know that the sauna gets rid of the fly, so let's go and at least start the sauna. Oh, that's that's not the right room. Let's go and at least start the sauna so I don't have to hear both of them at once, because that is just awful. I'm surprised actually that it's the sauna and not the shower that makes the difference. I mean, I would think that dirtiness would attract the fly. I don't know though. Um, I've never been in a sauna. Maybe it has special fly detracting properties. I know my friend Sam is laughing at me right now. We just had this conversation about saunas because she has, uh, well, she has a friend that's actually from Finland, oddly enough. Uh, so she knows all about this and they actually go to a sauna somewhat often. And so in that episode where I was first trying to figure out how to start this thing, they were just laughing their butts off at me. Right, let's go ahead and turn this all the way up here. There we go. And uh, I don't know if shutting the store actually helped or not, but we'll shut it. Okay, let's get back to that car. Here we go. All right. I feel like that's pretty good for the rear right now. We've just got to really figure out how we're supposed to get stuff up here. What am I stuck on? There. How am I supposed to get stuff up here? I feel like I, I, 
feel like I should be able to put the engine in, but I guess I haven't tried since I put the radiator in, but that doesn't seem like something that would really help. I really don't want to have to try to use that thing. Okay, let's just, let's go with it. Let's, um, which, which part of this do you think is the front? Maybe like that? I'm thinking like that. But I don't see any any sort of check mark popping up for this thing, unfortunately. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I've got that utterly backwards. Of course that hasn't really seemed to matter in the past. Did just drop it in? No. That's that seems like it was a terrible idea. Grab the can get it. Grab the block again. But maybe yeah, hold on. Maybe it goes the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, just drop the engine, it's fine. I'm sure that doesn't damage it at all. I actually am pretty sure in this game it doesn't damage it. Oh no, did I just... Okay, here we go. Turn it around this way and see if that makes a difference. It doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem to make any difference at all. Dang. I mean, again, like, I feel, okay, so I see where the little oil cap thing is, so I think, like, this way is probably the right way. <laughs> but that's just a terrible crash when I put it in there. I don't know. Is that something right there? No, that's already, but that's got to be where it lines up right there, right? With some part of it. It looks like it would be. Maybe I do have it backwards. <laughs> or maybe I'm just doing this completely wrong like an idiot. If you know, let me know. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna try that from this side, like just placing it in like that and just seeing if we get anywhere. That actually looked like it kinda sat exactly where it was supposed to, didn't it? Is there a way to actually put it in like that? I don't see one. Or am I putting this thing in sideways? That'd be really dumb. But I feel like usually it, it kind of goes like that. Like front to back. I don't know. Oh, I really don't know. Um, okay, well there's definitely... I definitely don't see any way that that is screwed in there. And it's definitely didn't give me a check checkbox so let's let's get it back out it just just for giggles is it is it does it have to go this way I don't know it doesn't feel like this um, I just pointed with my finger just so you know um, not that that helps you at all I feel like maybe that little bit off to the left that looks like it has to screw into the side like if I put it in this way it doesn't have anything to screw into uh, same for if I put it in Hold on. <laughs> Same for if I put it in like this. Like, it wouldn't really reach the side. But if it does go... Uh, I keep getting stuck on the car. But if it does go this way, then you can see where that would just screw in right to the front there. Yeah, like that. And then, like, see, there's that little... On the right, you can see that little nub of, of rusty metal that sticks out the side of the engine? Like, that would sit right there. And it does, it just seems like it locks into place when I put it there, but there's no way, it doesn't give me a way to screw it down. Ugh. This is, this is nuts. I think that's how it goes in, but maybe I'm missing something that I'm supposed to have. Let's go put this back, and we'll try something else. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes in. Oh, you know what? Something I've been meaning to do for a while is order that ratchet set that I saw in here. Because that just seems like it'd be... Oh, there it was. That seems like it'd be way better. So if I... This is $395. Do I click it? Yeah. Okay. I've got that. And is it... Do I click here? Yes! Oh, I get an envelope. Oh, do I have to drop that out of the town? They do have the post office there. Don't I have a mailbox here somewhere? I hope I do. 
Let's let's look. Look for a mailbox. Here's the front of the house. Or is this the back of the house? I don't know. I don't know anything about this house. Let's see. Anything resembling a mailbox. The game's slowing down for some reason, probably because the sun's coming up. It tends to do that. Might help if I turn the lights off in here. Okay, let's just set this down over here for right now. And turn these lights off and see if that helps the game run a little smoother. It does not. Alright, grab this thing. I really don't want to lose this. Um, let's see, that's just the bedrooms that way. Maybe it's something through the kitchen, because there is like the other exit to outside over here. Uh, through this way. But this definitely seems like, I mean this for sure seems like a back door. So I wouldn't think it would be here. Yeah, okay. Definitely not out here. I think I probably have to take it into town. Well, that's okay, because I'm going to town anyway. Not quite yet. I'm going to wait till the sun is properly up. And, um... But maybe I'll go and put this in the boat right now so I don't forget to take this to town with me. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to run down to the boat, put this in, and, uh... go from there. Okay, well the good news is that beer I, I bought that I never brought inside is uh, it's still in the boat. So there's that. So that'll probably stay there too. feel pretty confident. And uh, we'll head back and keep fiddling around with this car just for a few minutes. Um, then we can try to head into town. Alright, back at the garage. Letters in the boat. Let's see what we can do here. I know I already tried to put these in once. These wishbone whatever they are. Let's just have a look at them. See if we can kind of figure out where they would go. They're hollow on one side. Don't know if that helps us at all. But uh, I just I feel like this has to go right here. Maybe, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Or uh, maybe it goes on the inside. Do we try that? I don't know if I tried that. Get on, get in here. Like, I, could, I almost could fit right there, you know? On those. Maybe that would help me put the engine in. Whereas, I can't remember if this was... Aha! Ah! Aha! Come on! Get, get back! Get back to that! So th I just had the right... I just had the wrong side. Oh, uh, there. Uh, I hate how small... The little place where the checkbox goes. Oh no! Oh well. Okay. So that didn't go well. I must not have had something screwed in on the subframe. Alright, let's get that out of here. <laughs> get my subframe back in. And I'll see if I can. Oh! See if I can figure out. I bet there's screws right there that I didn't get to because I can't freaking see them. <sighs> Alright, let's, let's see if we can find where stuff is. So obviously, these are the ones that I saw. It was that and one on the other side, and I had those screwed in. Is it in here that I have to um, get the others? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't see any place where that's coming through. I see a place where the steering column comes through. But not any of this other. I bet I have to get under it or find it some sort of way. Alright, well hopefully it's the same size as this and I can figure out what size that is and then just mill around until it highlights the other ones. Let's bring my tools over here so I'm not having to run back and forth and see if we can figure out what size thing this is. Oh, come on, that would have been so great if I just guessed it on the first try. But no, gotta be difficult, huh? I 
don't think it's any smaller than that. No, it's definitely not that really small one. Start going back up. There it is. Because it's already... Yeah, okay, that's weird. That's really weird. So it, it popped the thing out when I tried to put the wishbone in. But uh, <laughs> it's now it's showing me that, oh, it's already screwed in right there. Oh, wait, I highlighted it over here for a second. So there are bolts there. Oh, uh, no. I don't want to answer the phone. I don't care. I don't care what you need. Yeah, so I'm definitely supposed to be able to get under this. <laughs> and I have no way, though. I have no way to move it into there. Not that I know, at least. There probably is a way, and I'm just not with it. Okay, so that one's still screwed in, so let's see if we can find this one that's over here. Ah, just had it. Right there. Alright, and after I get these in, we're gonna hope those are the only four, and I'll try that wishbone again, and just maybe, just maybe, it'll stay in. And hopefully these, these wishbones, that's gonna be the ticket. That is gonna be the ticket that lets me put the engine in. Got to find that perfect spot again. Come on. Cut me a break here. Work with me. Oh, there it was. Oh! Okay, well I didn't expect it to go that way to be honest. I thought it would kind of stand up straight, but... Alright, I'll take it. Either way, it looks like it, um... It looks like it didn't drop my frame out, and I can clearly see where the bolts are on this. And even luckier than that, it's the same size bolts! <laughs> the same size bolts that are on, uh, that were on the subframe. So that's great. Let's go ahead and grab this other one. Get it in there. And after this, I'm pretty sure it's light enough that I can take that boat into town get some bug spray, and tell this mosquito where it can go. Though probably before I do that, I should definitely either turn the sauna off or use it. Probably I'll use it. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, so I'll cut here. We've got the wishbone things in, we've got the shocks in on the back, or suspension, or whatever they called it. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, do the stress, and then we'll do the town run. Okay, so I just noticed something that I hadn't noticed before. I had looked at this map before and it didn't have all these little darts in it. And I'm wondering if that's showing me where the missions that I'm supposed to get from this phone, if that's showing me where those are. Uh, the only issue is like, I've got several different ones, right? Like one was my grandma needing food, one was sewage, well actually several were sewage. But all these darts are the same. These darts are all identical. Uh, so I have no idea how to know which ones are which. And either way, I don't know how to do the sewage thing anyway, so... Anyway, I just that's something interesting I noticed. I might come back to that in a later episode. Uh, right now, the sauna's ready, so I'm going to cut again, and uh, I'll come back after I'm done with the sauna. Okay, I finished with the sauna, and I ate stuff and drank stuff, so I'm not going to die of hunger or thirst on the way. And uh, you can see I'm a little wobbly, because all I have to drink is beer. And uh, so now I'm just going to head into town. I, I'm fast forward uh, once I get to the boat I kind of debated on just doing this where I cut and come back when I'm already in the town maybe that would be better if that's something you'd prefer instead of seeing the fast forward of the boat heading that way then let me know my thoughts was that if I showed it in fast forward people watching it would know exactly where we were going and then if they wanted to play in the game uh, they could very easily see where I went just by following that little fast forward section and it really only takes a few seconds but if that's annoying uh, just let me know and we can change the way that we do that right now I'm just gonna run into the boat um, I really hope I have enough fuel that's something that I'm getting in town as well is more more fuel uh, someone did comment and uh, let me know that 
indeed this is a two-stroke motor so that so that two-stroke uh, two-stroke fuel that I saw in the store would um, would most likely be the right thing for this so that's good to know and uh, I'm gonna grab some of that while I'm in town as well because I am really worried about running out of fuel in the middle of the lake here I'll probably just keep that on the boat once I get it Okay, so we're here at the town. I'm not sure why, the boat really wanted to drift to the left during all that. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so that's exactly what I was worried about with this, that that would eventually go flying. And, okay, my boat is kind of drifting off. Oh no! Oh crap! Oh, whoo -hoo. that was close. Alright, not great. <laughs> That was an exciting moment. <laughs> let's, let's make sure we more securely dock the stupid boat this time. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to dock the boat. Like, there probably is a way. I've just been ramming it into the dock and hoping for the best, which has worked up to this point. But that was definitely just going to leave without me. Okay, it doesn't look like it's moving. Yeah, I feel pretty I feel pretty safe with that. I just gotta remember to grab my grab my beer on the way back. And let's head into town. I really hope that I actually can put this letter somewhere. Like into a mailbox or something when I get up here. I mean obviously there's that spot that says uh, that it's the post office. But I didn't really see any way to interact with that before, but it could just be because I didn't have anything to interact with it with. So that's something we'll have to find out this time, and I'm guessing that even when it's delivered, it's just going to deliver it to the post office and I'll have to come back here to get that. Um, hopefully it gives me some sort of, I don't know, indicator that a package has arrived for me, otherwise I'll just be guessing. Because I have no idea how long this is supposed to take. Uh, this doesn't give me any sort of indication here either. I'm a little bit far off the path here. I need to head this way, I think. And then I'm going to be buying the two-stroke engine oil. Probably a few things of bug spray. I'm not sure how many uses you get out of bug spray. And uh, maybe some more food since I'm, since I'm here. Look both ways before you cross the road, kids. These guys are here still. I really think that's probably like a racing thing. But their cars look as crappy as mine. Alright, let's see if this gives me... Does, is it going to give me like a check mark or like a use? Do I... Do you, oh, right there. Oh no, that's the mosquito spray. Oh no, that didn't work. But it is... Oh. Okay, maybe. I think that went in there. I don't seem to be able to grab it anymore. Well, you know, we'll, we'll just we'll hope for the best. <laughs> Alright. Hey to the dishes and dishes to the dishwasher. Okay. Whatever you say, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, got... Let's get three things. Mosquito spray. That's apparently nothing right there. Um, you know, we, I might buy some things for the car here, too. Because I know that I need to put the... Um, uh, that's cool. I'll just, you go ahead and talk. Anyway, grab some things for the car. Coolant. I'll need, I'm sure I'll need 
that fan belt, sure. Uh, fire extinguisher. Oh, you can buy spray paint, that's neat. Motor oil, yes. I have a car battery, probably not a great one. Oh, there's that two-stroke fuel, grab some of that. Uh, I've got an oil filter, I don't have spark plugs. Oh, seat covers. No, no thanks. And, uh, yeah. Grab some sausages. I don't guess it matters what food you get. It didn't seem to matter last time. I'm just gonna get a variety. I don't think I need... don't need any more beer. Alright. That's pretty good. Let's pay for our stuff and, uh, get out of here. Wow, I really racked up a tab this time. Over a thousand whatever money this is. Alright, grab our shopping bag and we are gone. Oh, he actually said something nice. Thank you for visiting. Alright, well, thank you for selling me my stuff. Hopefully my boat's still there when I get back. Oh, is it because I didn't put it in neutral? Is that why it, it, it floated away? I can see that being a thing. I didn't put it in neutral this time either, so... You know, like, hopefully I'm wrong? But I can definitely see that being the reason why it was floating away. But it looks like it's still there. So, we're in luck. <laughs> we're not stranded in this town miles and miles away from my home. Because I don't think there's any cars that I can steal or rent or whatever here. But uh, maybe, maybe there are. Maybe that guy in the yellow car is actually a taxi. Who knows? Certainly not me. I do like this shopping bag system that they've got. I was confused by it at first, the last time I did this. But really, it's pretty useful. That way I'm not carrying just everything. Alright, get that down in there. And is that moving? That's moving. Let's grab the beer real quick. There we go. Put that down in there. Oh, and we are homeward bound. And to start it on the first try, I'll take that as lucky. And uh, we'll head back that way, and as usual, I will be fast forwarding through this part. Okay, so my boat definitely just ran out of fuel in the middle of the lake. Not really the best, but in theory, in theory there's uh, fuel for it in here, so um, here's hoping. Alright, let me get out of driving mode. The problem is, I'm gonna have to, that means I'm going to have to open the shopping bag here, and I'm worried that like it's all going to fly everywhere like it did in the kitchen. But maybe the sides of the boat will stop it. Oh, here goes nothing. I guess I gotta... How did I do this? I don't remember how to open the shopping bag, apparently. I'm pressing the F key, which is the use key, but it is not... It's not doing it. I think I'm drifting... I hope I'm not just staying absolutely perfectly still. It's hard to tell if that's just the motion of the water making it look like I'm drifting, or if I am actually drifting. Let's try this again, just F. Um, no, that didn't do it. Uh, well, this could be real bad if it won't let me open this here. I'm hoping that it's not the thing where I can only open the shopping bag when I'm in my house, because I would kind of be screwed. But it is definitely not letting me interact with this shopping bag in any sort of meaningful way right now. Let's, uh, well, if we're going to die in the middle of the lake, at least we've got all this beer here. Just, just throw the beer bottles in the lake, that's fine. Oh, that was disappointing. No splash or anything? Oh, well, that's lame. See, so yeah, I, I don't... I'm, if I'm moving at all, I'm not moving very fast. And I don't know if I can actually swim. 
Is the water instant death? I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if I die when I'm this close to getting this car together, I'm just done with this game. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a let's play of something else, because that would be just way too depressing. I guess probably Oh, what just happened? Oh no! Boat's moving and I'm not. Okay. Oh. Just let's try it. Let's just try to start to start the engine, right? Maybe it'll let us do it. No. No, I'm pretty certain that we are dead in the water here, which is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Well, now I know there's enough there's enough fuel in this boat for one and a half round trips. Oh, jeez. Let's just, maybe let's try the shopping bag again. I really don't want this to be... This is so unfortunate. Come on, just let me open the shopping bag. Oh, there it was! Aha! Okay, it let me open the shopping bag. We might not die here. Oh, sweet Christ, I don't see the engine oil, though. I don't see the fuel. I've got all this other crap. I've got brake fluid and spark plugs and belts, and at least I've got the mosquito spray. There we go. Mosquito spray it up. Oh, but no. Oh, no. I bet the fuel was like the beer, where it's a separate thing. Oh, God dang it. Okay, well, uh, viewers, I'm about to jump in this water and see if this guy can swim. And I guess I'm going to swim back this way, and maybe I can get the boat fuel and come back so my boat's not just stranded here with all of my <laughs> all of my parts for my engine I just bought. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, okay, good news is, I didn't instantly die. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to shore, but I didn't instantly die, and I'm going to take that as a win. This episode's going to be a little longer than I intended it to be, but I'll just, I'll take it. Oh, God. Okay. So happy not to be dead, really, is just all, all there is to say. It looks like jumping in the water has uh, fixed my dirtiness, though. So there is there's that benefit to it, and I'm uh, definitely moving faster than I was in the boat. So again, lucky me. And uh, I'm I was a little worried that they would do something with my fatigue, like my fatigue would rise super high, since I'm swimming as fast as I can for the shore. Uh, but it doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's staying pretty steady. So hopefully that's not going to like skyrocket and just have me drown in the water because uh, that would definitely suck. Alright, I guess I'm just going to fast forward this part. Uh, maybe I'll try to come ashore here. I think i probably run faster than I swim. I don't know for sure, but it, it makes sense to me that I would. So I'll try to come ashore over here and uh, I'll fast forward through this part, get to town, hopefully grab the fuel that is probably still there. What is that? Okay, uh, so I just... I'm climbing out of the water and this ball just came out of nowhere. Oh, it's a basketball. Oh! Oh, god! Okay. Guess they're playing soccer with a basketball. Whatever. Cool. Good for them. Alright, back, back to what I was doing. Oh, that's a bus. Let's get out of that way. I wonder if I can actually ride the bus. I don't know where it stops. 
Alright, well I'm back at the town. These guys are still being delinquents in a parking lot. And we're gonna hope <laughs> we're gonna hope that, that fuel's actually there. I can confirm I don't move any faster on land than I do in the water. Oh yeah, there's oh not just the fuel. But also my motor oil and is that the coolant? Okay, so those are just gonna stay here until the next time I have to come to town. But I've got got my two-stroke fuel. I'm gonna go back to that dock and I'm gonna hope for two things. One, that I can actually get out of the water into the boat when I get there, because I'm not I'm not sure on that. And two, that it'll let me swim while holding this fuel. Because if it doesn't, I'm just, I'm lost forever. Or at least the boat is lost forever and all of the things in it. Because there's no way I can get it. At least no way that I know of. I don't think there's another boat in the game. Um, it looks like my fatigue actually goes up higher when I'm on land than when I'm swimming. Which is... I don't know, that's, that's funny. Maybe they don't want you to drown? I'm gonna hope that that's the case, because I don't want to drown either, and I'm about to have to swim way out to that boat. I'm actually not even sure I'm going to be able to see it from the shore here. I really hope I am, because I'd like to be able to swim straight to it and not, like, wander around. At least I know where I was going, so I know approximately where it should be if it didn't drift a bunch. Let's see, can I see it? I think that's probably it, that little speck just above the uh, just above the fuel can there is probably my boat. Okay, I'm gonna go into fast forward again, so if you, you're not watching five minutes of me swimming towards a boat, and uh, cross your fingers that I can actually get in the boat when I reach it. Okay, my thirst is in the red now. Uh, if I can get the boat, I can fix that, because I've got the beer in the boat. But my fatigue, I think, is about to turn red too, and I am i don't doubt for a second that it's just going to have me sink and die. And I can't... is that the boat? I can't really even see where the boat is. Okay, fatigue's in the red now. I'm pretty sure that's a little speck in the distance is the boat. Oh man, I don't... I don't want to drown here. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Oh, this is so stupid. Alright, come on little guy, you can make it. I believe in you, sort of. Okay, that's definitely the boat, so at least I'm getting close to it. Just don't die on the way, you bastard. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. I wonder how long it'll let me be the fatigue in the red before it just says I die of overexertion, like it did when I died of thirst. I really don't know. I don't want to find out. The boat seems so close now. Swim, swim, swim! Please let me get on the boat! Alright, alright, alright. Get on it. Am I... No, I'm swimming through the boat instead of on it. Okay, can I drop this into the boat? Alright, that's something. Um, oh, damn. Oh, damn. It won't let me jump. And I've got nothing I can grab. Oh, this is so stupid. Oh, wait, there was a thing that said climb in a boat. Come on, give me that. Oh, sweet Christ, yes. Oh, no! Oh, God! Alright, I definitely lost a few things there, but the beer wasn't one of them, which is great because my thirst was all the way in the red, and I already died of that once. So let's... Oh, let's drink some beer. Uh, it looks like... Okay, the, the fuel stayed as well, which is great. That's fantastic. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to put the uh, fuel into this. Alright, I had a hand there. Where it was like I could take the cap off. Oh, stop. Okay, fine. Get into driving mode. As long as it'll take, let me take that cap off in driving mode. Dang it. 
the controls of this game are so frustrating. Okay, got that off. Exit the stupid driving mode. I've got the two-stroke fuel. Uh, how do I, how do I use it? Oh, there. Do I click? Do I pour? What do I do? Uh, I don't know how to use this, and I don't want to risk just like dropping it. Oh, it's it, it's filling. Okay, I've got it. I just have to hold it there. Okay. I'm just, I'm not even gonna fill this all the way up because I'm I'm worried that I'm gonna die of fatigue. So that's good. That's good right there. Drop that, and let's get this engine started. I guess I probably have to screw the cap back on first. There we go. All right. Enter. Let me enter driving mode. There. All right. We're started. We're in first gear. We're on the way home. Please don't die of fatigue. Okay, at the very least, I've made it to the dock. I turn this engine off. I'm going to put it in neutral. I don't know if that actually matters, but it might. Um, I'm hoping that this stuff doesn't fly everywhere. Let me at least grab the spark plugs so they don't fly everywhere. And uh, I'm going to very calmly walk, not run, because that uses my fatigue more, walk to it and hope that this isn't the second time that I die on this path getting back to my house. Oh, jeez. I will say, something, I guess it's indicative of early access games is weird physics bugs. Like the fact that when I was getting on the boat, all of my stuff flew everywhere. And that's annoying, and I understand they're always trying to find that kind of place between having something just stick to where you put it, and having things that can actually interact with each other. So like if I hit something with the car, it could go flying instead of just stopping me if it was something that is light and wouldn't damage the car. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like it shouldn't be something that goes absolutely crazy when the player is walking over it or through it. I, you know, I think you can, you should be able to assume that a person could maneuver around those things. But, you know what? I'm not a game designer, so I don't know how hard that is to do. I don't have any programming skills. Maybe that's like an impossible task that I'm describing. I have no way of knowing. But right now, I'm hopefully going to get in this house, get into bed, <laughs> wake up still alive, and uh, then we'll. I'm just going to save the game. We'll end this episode here. It's already gone on longer than I really wanted it to due to the whole engine running out of fuel thing. I'll just drop the spark plugs right over here and uh, go straight inside. And he died in his bedroom, inches from his bed. No, here we go. Sleep. All right. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. We didn't die in this episode. All right. I see all my gauges are really high. I'll deal with that the next time I log on to record uh, for right now. That is not what's important. Um, looks like it's probably absolute middle of the night. I can't even tell if I'm moving. Well, that's great. Is this a glitch or is it actually that dark? Because I can't see anything at all. Oh, okay. There. Uh, what is this? Where am I? Alright, that's got to be the door to the outside, which means there should be a light switch somewhere right here. So if I can't find the toilet, I can't save. Oh, this is a dumb problem to have. Oh, that's not... Okay, that's the window. Alright, then this is a door over here. Oh, no, I lost it. Okay, there's the door to the outside, which again means there should be a light switch. I thought it was over here. Who knows? Can I see into the hall enough? No, definitely not. 
Oh, this is stupid. Search for the light switch. No, no luck. No luck at all. Oh, you know what? I've got that flashlight out here. I'll grab the flashlight and find my way with that. Or at least find a light switch with that, assuming I can find the flashlight. There it is. Alright. Alright, we'll wrap this up. Where is that light switch? Maybe I can remember for next time. Oh, not even in this room. Great. There it is. Okay. Drop the stupid flashlight right there. Turn it off just in case batteries are a thing in this game. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, next time we'll see if we can maybe get the front wheels on the car. Who knows? Exciting stuff. See you next time.